Ezra Miller allegedly called a German woman, who told the Fantastic Beasts star she was a descendant of a Holocaust survivor, a Nazi. The woman, identified only by her first name Nadia, told Variety in an expose published Thursday that the alleged encounter with the 29-year-old, who identifies as non-binary and uses they slash them pronouns, occurred at her Berlin apartment in February. Nadia claimed to the outlet she met Miller in January 2020 at an art opening in Los Angeles and that the two had consensual sex on the last night of her trip. She claims they continued a long-distance friendship, mostly via text message, for the next two years. Due to the pandemic and their busy schedules, the two did not see each other until February 2022 after Nadia invited the actor to stay at her apartment while the annual Berlin Elle Film Festival was taking place. She told Variety Miller was super nice and super polite until they began to roll a cigarette and she told them they couldn't smoke inside her home. That just set them off, Nadia claimed. I asked them to leave about 20 times, maybe more. They started insulting me. I'm a transphobic piece of SD. I'm a Nazi. It became so, so stressful for me. They were going around my house, looking at everything, touching everything, spreading tobacco leaves on the floor. It felt disgusting and very intrusive. She elaborated on the encounter later on in the interview. And this I'm quoting word for word, she said. They started with I'm a maker of planets. Tobacco is sacred. Nadia said Miller continued their tirade and proclaimed they could do whatever they want whenever they want. When she stood up to insist that Miller respect her house rules, they looked at me with this really mean, stern face, and told me, sit down, like they were ordering the dog. In the moment, she said she told them as such. Their response, she claimed, was, yes, I'm talking to you like a dog. I said, okay, if you talk to me like this, it's time for you to go she said. But Miller refused and allegedly began accusing Nadia of being transphobic and a Nazi. I asked them if they remember I told them I'm a descendant of Holocaust survivors, so why would they say that to me? She said. They answered, screaming at me, yes, but how many people of my family died? Because many people in their family died. I was like, Oh, okay, this is a game of who's got the most trauma. Nadia said she believed Miller could somehow attack, her, physically and described feeling unsafe. After about half an hour of pleading, she said she finally convinced Miller to leave, but it was only after she called the police. Nadia filed a criminal complaint about her experience, which Variety confirmed, with the German state prosecutor's office in April, and Miller was being investigated for trespassing. However, the prosecutor told the outlet they discontinued proceedings after the actor left the country. It seems to be a pattern, Nadia said. They jet set abuse. She said she felt more comfortable coming forward publicly now that she's not the only person levying allegations against Miller. Reps for Miller did not immediately return Page Six's request for comment, but a source told Variety that Miller hopes to address the allegations at some point, 
but they have chosen to privately focus on their health and healing over the coming months. Earlier this month, that the perks of being a wallflower star was accused of housing a young mother and her three small children in their Vermont home allegedly littered with firearms, ammunition and marijuana. Miller was also accused by two parents of allegedly grooming their 18-year-old son with cult-like and psychologically manipulative behavior. However, the teen in question took to social media to defend the actor. My comrade Ezra Miller for the entirety of the aforementioned era has only provided loving support and invaluable protection throughout this period of loss, the teen wrote. They were also arrested multiple times in Hawaii in March and April, 